Hello again, teachers, and welcome to this portion of our teacher training this week. And this is the actual teacher training of how can I be a better teacher? We are going to be emphasizing two specific principles with many different miniature portioned lessons uh, for the rest of this, for this semester of the early 2023, right? So let me pull up a PowerPoint for you guys. Again, my PowerPoint skills are so good. <laughs> but what can I do and how can I ask better questions? All right. So let's break down the skills of asking a better question, right? First and foremost, I need to know the desired outcome of the question that I ask. So I'll reference the 2012 edition of the Gospel Teaching and Learning Handbook. And if you don't have that handbook on hand, you can click on this little link right here, and it's going to bring you to the PDF version of it. It's on chapter 5, page number 58. President Eyring says this, to ask and answer questions is at the heart of all learning and teaching. And then he continues to teach that when planning questions, a teacher should first determine the purpose for which they are asking the particular question. And so let's get into these questions. What type of questions are there? There are four fundamental questions. Search for, analyze, feeling questions, or that invoke feeling and testimony and encourage application. I use different words for them when I'm in training or when I talk about them. And so the first type of question that is a search for information, I call them a look for, an identify, or a search question. So what is the purpose? So remember, yes, I need to know why I ask these types of questions. So what is the purpose of these types of questions? Search questions, or look for, identify, search questions, help students build their basic understanding of the scriptures, or a quote, by inviting them to search for important details relating to the content of the scripture block. Meaning, I'm going to ask them to, hey, look for this in the following verse. Look for this in the following quote. Quote, before I have them watch a video, I'm going to say, look for this as you watch this video. Again, the intent behind it is to unify our class, to give them a purpose for what they're doing besides just reading information. Go down here. Search questions often include words such as who, what, when, where, how, why. So where are they in the teacher's manual? So let's look at our teacher's manual, if we could. And so I'll bring you into this week of uh, lesson material for the lesson material for Matthew 3, Mark 1, Luke 3. Let's go to the very first lesson for this week in Matthew, Matthew 3, 1 through 12, and Mark 1 through 8. And I have highlighted in this lesson content all of the look for questions. So as I scroll down here, these are the specific look for questions right here. This is the wording of them in the curriculum. Matthew chapter 1. Look for this when you read verses 1 through 8. As you read Matthew 3, look for this. Here's Luke 3. Here's the specific wording of the look for questions. As you read Luke chapter 3, look for that. Matthew chapter 3. Part number one of this lesson. Here are our look for questions. Read these verses looking for this. Remember, there is a specific purpose, but to, it is found within the following content. Read this looking for this. So I hope that this helps to uh, just to understand just a little bit more about where they are in the curriculum. But then when should I ask a look for question? before you have them read the content, meaning the verse or the quote, before you have the students watch the video. When these are done in such a way where they are asked before, then the students go into the verse, the quote, or they watch the video or the media that you're providing with a purpose. Look for this, identify this, search for as you read or as you watch. That's just the skill for this week. Please identify the look for questions in the curriculum and know why you're going to ask them. If you will practice that this week, we will build upon it next week. Remember, we want to break it down into little tiny bite-sized chunks so that we aren't overwhelmed. So just this week, we are looking at look for, identify, or search questions. Thank you so much, brothers and sisters, for watching this video. I hope that it will be helpful as you get into this week's content to know why the curriculum is asking you to say, look for this, ask this, identify this. 
It's intended to help them identify specific information within the verse, and then we can expand upon it. I hope this skill was helpful. We'll talk to you soon.